I mean, I get the game's bright, but this fucking suit feels really too extreme now. Uh, we do not know the cube. Ah, another headache. Okay. This sign reads time. Could this be connected to the clock tower? What's that time? I think that's... I think that's 12.25, I could be wrong. What a guess! I am a genius! I am a fucking genius! Bray. Oh, it's because it was on the wrong side there. Vitcoin break. I can see the Hall of Records. We're almost there now. What's up there? I do personally really like the combat, it's just the movement is so bad. This will be, uh, go, go, I'm just gonna start doing edited series of all my streams from now. Stellar Blade will be the first one. That gets that treatment. Gotta get that watch time up and I feel like if I put videos out there it might, you know, just do that. Cables. It's a victory monument. The Hall of Records is under there. Hey, <sighs> knew it. Oh, what's up? I'm fucking done. I can't believe we're in the Hall of Records. It's like a dream. Now, all we have to do is find the hyperdrive. At the start of the 22nd century, humanity's right to life this was threatened by advanced, advanced global boss. warming. Having foreseen this, Mother Sphere ensured mankind could meet this challenge. 
The eons long process of natural adaptation resolved near instantly. The body cell replaced the heart and made it possible to survive in environments without oxygen or water. Thanks to advances in biotechnology and nanotechnology, the inconveniences of aging and disease were a thing of the past. I can't this move any quicker than this, giant leaps by the way. forward in the development of hazardous industrial spaces and space itself. We can now withstand the crushing pressures of the deepest oceans and even exit a space station without the need of a spacesuit. Now we can move. This is a great area to spawn Humanity's a Humanity's greatest and only hope for survival can be found in Mother Sphere. Please, enjoy the harmony and prosperity of Ados 7, the first city ever built by Mother Sphere, the mother of... I have no idea what that was all about. Adam, did it make any sense to you? Mankind's past was buried with the final war. This must be a video from before that time. Hypercell. Is this what you're looking for? Yes. You can extract it from the hyperdrive. Ah, my fucking headset fell off. Fuck this shit. Great. We accomplished our first objective. Let's go before the emergency power runs out. Ah, we got it. The hypercell. This is going to do a lot of good. Eve, thank you. Um, okay. Then, can you tell me where the Alpha Nativa is? <laughs> of course. It isn't far. Sweet Christmas. Should we head down again? 
No, just follow the path and go straight. Uh -huh. That's why we came up, isn't it? Come fucking figure out what the configuration of the button was. Ooh. We've come quite far. How much more do we have to go? We just have to pass that sewage facility. There must be a way to get across. We can build ourselves a bridge if we use that crane. Also, we need to get to that massive ass crane. Is that a face on top of it? That's a man? I'm not really had a chance to do this. So I did it then. Oh, great. That's because I needed to be a long range for that. Oh, great, that's not good actually. That's not kind of that great, is it? I've seen a movie like this before. It was a film with a predictable storyline about mankind winning against alien monsters that invaded Earth. At the start of the movie, the monsters slaughter humans left and right. Even armed soldiers aren't capable to do anything until the main character appears, were playing the role of those soldiers. <laughs> ID card. Let's keep it for now. I knew this would have to be an area we'd come back to from when I saw that other bit. This is what I was wanting. Activate camp. Adam, I have a question. What is it? The hypercell. If it sustained the Hall of Records until now, it must be a huge source of energy. Yes. Even compared to a fusion cell. Then, where are you planning to use this energy? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. But, I can explain more when you come back. Understood. Loud and clear. Try using the crane. It's not working. Hmm. But there is power. That's strange. Oh, we need an ID card if we want to operate. We have one. Three of them, actually. Hmm. If the ID cards are needed for the crane, then they should be nearby. Look for the closest one first. Take your time. We have one, don't we? Yeah. Buildings, well manicured flora, and living people. That's it? You have no imagination. Then again, I guess you've never been here before. Imagine bustling streets, crystal clean air, and people smiling everywhere you look. Have you ever seen something like that before, Adam? Yes, a long time ago. Just one more. This game hates me. Oh, 
Why isn't it doing the move I want it to do? Excuse me. Use them on the panel. Now we go on with this. <laughs> squeak, squeak, down. Let's go to where you placed the structure. I don't even know where that was. It was over here. I think. <laughs> I faced them before, so I'm not that bored. I wasn't even one hundred percent sure I'd make that. We're almost there. We'll find the Alpha as soon as we get through this place. Oh great, that's not good. <laughs> because the camp's not even that far out of this, so it's just giving me bad bad vibes right now. There are, there are sort of like elements to it, but it's not 100% of Soulzone because it's a mix between. No, 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 it's not 100%. No, definitely not 100%. I mean, like, it's got, you know, that Soulzone. -like. I'm just happy it doesn't have RPG elements. I had, I was kind of sick of RPG elements in games. I'm just glad that this game has like a loot where you just get loot from enemies and fucking things you find, boxes and shit, it just, it, it's not level based, you can put anything you find on. Can we talk about the water physics real quick? <laughs> I don't see a lot of water in this game, to be honest. Look at my stream and you'll see it. Don't worry, I'm not in a spoilery area. Well, you're ahead of me anyway. You're, you're behind me, yeah. You're gonna catch up to me, though, because I'm not that far, because I stopped playing after I went to the point to get my bro. The water physics is so good. It took me, I think I spent six hours, almost, almost like four or five hours in the first area. Oh yeah, the, the water physics are, are, are good. I, I'm actually glad that this game has underwater system. Not all games do, it, nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, adds, it adds to the game as well. But I mean, to be honest, I've been mostly addicted to the combat. It's oh. so satisfying to pull up like the perfect dodges, parries, to get that blue and purple fucking signs on the enemies and be able to perform the fucking extra combo with that. This game, in a lot of ways, has kind of surprised me a little bit. Like, I was excited oh, for it, but to be honest, 
as excited for the reason that most men were excited for this. <laughs> if you know you what I mean. You think you could come down here? I haven't found an outfit that would be as revealing as one would hope. <laughs> no, it's just she's got a big ass in it. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to that. I was looking at boobs. I'm a boob guy. I'm not actually that bothered about. I thought this game would have nudity, to be honest, with the way they explained uh, it was describing it. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about full nudity. I, I like. Ah. I'm stupid. I see what to do. I didn't see that. There is a fucking soul bomb mod. We got to Yes! We're having it. <laughs> well, checking it the out project. anyway. Oh shit! I got bored of the greeny outfit, so I changed it. Max boost B increased. Let's take a short break. Hey, that it's not fucking doing. It. Now I'm pressing the wrong button or something? <laughs> bro, I had an annoying area where I had to jump through a path, pods. You'll get that. And, bro, I, I fucking died three times because I fell all the way down because I missed the pod. That doesn't fill with me much hope, I'll be honest. Oh, you'll be in the video for this, uh, for whatever episode this will be. <laughs> uh, there isn't enough water. Um, I was not sure I should survive that. Then I was. We found the key. And then we went on fucking boulders gate, and I couldn't even see the enemy in front of me. <laughs> Yeah, that should be enough. Long. You can get out by going back to where you start. Sacrifice. The exit's to the right. Fuck you. We're almost there. Okay. We're finally outside. I don't even know which I need because there's already like a metal. See that crater over there? That area is Alpha and territory. What's a drop pod in there? That was abandoned a long time ago. Matter of fact, it's what made this crater. Wait, that's a fifth airborne squad drop pod. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> oh, another camp. Let me activate this bad boy. I've majorly enjoyed exploring in this game. Oh yeah, yeah. the reason why it took me so long to finish like the first level of this game, technically, uh, is because I was exploring so much. Eve, it's pretty faint, but I'm picking up a distress signal coming from that drop pod. That means... There might still be survivors. Really? I can't say for sure. And the Alpha Nativa could appear at any moment. Oh my god, this area looks beautiful. Okay. Oh no. This area looks really open. I don't like this. Okay. I'm calling it boss. I'm calling it. Because this area is too open. Wait. I hear something. Eve, 
What is that thing? What the fuck? Uh, did you make it to this top guy? Uh, hold on. Just grab his head for me. Jesus Christ! And fuck him hard! Shit the bed he was ass! Shit the fucking bed! 